60 members and friends enjoyed a great evening's entertainment when we celebrated 100 years of the club's existence. The origins of the club go back to the 19th century and the founding of the Socialist Clary newspaper when many, many were seeking a juster and fairer society based on socialism. This newspaper spawned all kinds of organisations including the National Clarion Cycling Club. The British section was not established until 1901 and we know nothing about the founders except their names and that they were socialists. This is evident from a Bury Times report at the time of our Golden Jubilee which reads On a January day in 1901, seven determined ladies mounted bicycles, adjusted their flowing skirts and straw bolters and rode slowly through Bury streets. They ignored the cries of shame and hussies from outraged pedestrians and the boos of children running alongside. Following the ladies at a respectable distance came 20 men, also on bicycles. The 27 had a mission. Besides founding the very section of the National Clarion Cycling Club that day, they were intent on preaching socialism as soon as they reached Tottington and Greenmount villages. Eleven who attended the centenary reunion were members at the time of our Golden Jubilee, and these knew the Derby Brothers, shown here at the end of the Manchester Union of Clarion Club's 50-mile time trial in 1920. They had just won the team prize. Sam was the winner of the event in 2 hours, 40 minutes and 25 seconds. He also won first handicap. Roberts won the second handicap in 2 hours, 57 minutes and 30 seconds. And Joe won the third handicap in 2 hours, 56 minutes and 15 seconds. Sam contributed the most to the club's ongoing existence, and in recognition of this, we made him life president in 1958. The photo tells us that it was presented to the South East Lancashire Clarion Clubhouse by comrades of the Berry Club. The club developed in all kinds of ways over the years. In the inter-world war period, we had a football team playing at a, in a league and a billiards team. Many social events were organised and a number of members attended Esperanto classes. In the post-war years membership grew and whilst the officials of the club were socialists, people whose interest was mainly cycling were made welcome and it is these people who have ensured the survival of the club. This photograph was taken at Sam back in 1950. The Darby brothers are on this photo and so is Gerald Lee who at the time had a major influence on the success of the club. There are 29 on the photograph and this was probably the average turnout. I can remember 40 on some occasions and Frank Jefferson thinks we have had 60 out. Well, our membership in 1954 did rise to 100 when our cycling activity was at its greatest. This photograph was taken in 1952 at a tea place in Cheshire. Sitting on the left is Frank Jefferson, and sitting on the right is me, Peter Roscoe. Touching my head is Charlie Westlake, who was on the way to becoming a local legend in his own lifetime. Weekends away at youth hostels were complimented by a riotous one at Blackpool in September. Each year we had a big contingent attending the Easter meet of the National Clarion, and on six occasions from 1952 to 1965 we won the Tom Groom Trophy for the best clarion section. We also won the BWS Ace Trophy for the highest aggregate mileage of attenders at the Easter Meet on a number of occasions. In 1957 we established ourselves as a racing club. So, whilst we remained a section of the National Clarion Cycling Club, our members enjoyed racing for a very clarion cycling and athletic club instead of our previous option of Manchester Clarion or Bolton Clarion C and AC. From 1950 until the mid 1960s we ran 10 mile time trials each Wednesday evening at Pillsworth. This is a group of club members after one of these events in 1963. Two of this group still race regularly. Phil Collins on the left and Bob Duckworth is on the right. This photograph is of three Bury Clarion riders from left, Dave Winstanley, Peter Roscoe and Martin Kay, 
who won the Kenneth Humphreys Team Award in the 25 miles time trial. This was a good win for us and the trophy was presented to us by Joan Littlewood, a lady of the theatre who had her early years of drama with the Clarion players. The picture there at the left are Joe Darby and his wife Evelyn who were about to celebrate their silver wedding by touring the Alps, accompanied by Alice Barlow and Mr and Mrs Sam Darby. This was in the mid-1950s. Here are a group of clarion riders after the Palmer Trophy 25 in 1953, which was held on the East Lanx Road, a favourite course in those days. This group was taken at a clarion gathering in the early 1960s. Ken Marsden was guest of honour and he was a local fast man from Lancashire Road Club. And here are some more photographs showing club life over the last 50 years. The success of the club was not maintained, but those of us with an abiding interest have kept the club going. This photograph shows us participating in the 1971 British Carnival, which fortuitously coincided with 70 years of our existence. A party to celebrate 80 years of our existence was held at Frank Jefferson's. Here is a picture of a few attenders with Sam Darby cutting the cake. Peter Roscoe, Dave Turton, Frank Jefferson, Phil Collins and Joan Rigby are pictured outside Frank's Cycle Clinic during National Bike Week 1994. This photograph is at the launch of our new club colours, which was fittingly part of our centenary celebrations. <laughs> 